Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get the iPod Touch 2.0 firmware for free. Um, don't pay for that because there's always a way to get it free. Um, actually, uh, the link that I'll provide for you is in the uh, is from the Apple website. Um, the and if the link changes or is not working or anything, please leave a comment and tell me, and uh, I will get that fixed and I will give you a new link. And um, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, all you gotta do first, it's gonna take a while to download, so look in the video description over there or down there. It should be down there somewhere. Look in the video description and download the uh, 2.0 firmware. Make sure you save it to your desktop. Make sure you do not open it in iTunes because that will not work. Um, you need to save it to your desktop just for just to keep in case you need it. Okay, um, get that downloaded. And once it downloads, um, now I'm gonna show you how to do that on your computer. And I, if you don't know, I just have an iPhone, but I know how to do it with iPod Touch. And if you're having trouble, like I know, by the time a lot of people watch this, it will they will they will have it fixed. But Apple is down right now, like their servers are down and stuff. Like you can't even download iTunes 7.7, .7. and uh, they are like the servers are down and everything. If you're having trouble activating your 3G iPhone or anything like that, just be patient. They'll get it fixed. I'm surprised they wasn't ready for this. But anyways, uh, you must have iTunes 7.7, but uh, now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, now what you're going to do is, um, once the firmware is done downloading, plug up your uh, iPod, and I've got, if you may be able to tell, I've got my iP iPhone plugged up, but uh, it's the same exact process for iPod Touch. Um, once the firmware is done downloading, open iTunes, and you're going to um, make sure you, once you like when you're downloading the firmware make sure you save it to your desktop so you can select it okay um I've been back up iTunes um and you're not gonna do like uh, check for update or anything like that you're gonna hold shift if you're on Windows uh, hold shift check for update and then this will make the window pop up make sure you navigate all the way up to the desktop where you save the uh, 2.0 firmware find it and then you will see it mine says iPhone one comma two underscore two point oh five eight three four seven restore dot IPSW. So you're gonna select but yours would say iPod. Okay, you're gonna select that and hit open. I'm not gonna do that because I don't really want to restore my phone right now. But that is how you do it. Um so you get it free and make sure if the download link is not working anymore, please tell me because I will update update it with a new download link. So make sure you leave comments if it's not gonna if it's not working for you guys. And if iTunes isn't working for you right now, and just be patient. The servers are down at Apple, but probably by the time everybody watches this, they will hopefully have them fixed and ready and back up. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe.